According to the Alabama Department of Public Health, two out of five teens have abused prescription pain medication, stimulants, or tranquilizers. 90% of addictions begin during the teen years. And here with advice for what parents should look out for, Pam Mashburn from Potential Magazine. Thank you so much for being here. Yes, thank you. Well, this is what Potential Magazine looks like. Look for it in your kids' doctor's offices and also at pharmacies and other locations, wherever teens hang out, wherever That's teens right. and, their, and parents their parents hang out. Well, look for this. Uh, this There's going to be a brand new one out on the stand starting today, but look, there's potential right here for raising those productive teens. So, uh, this is a bigger problem than many people realize when you mm -hmm. talk about teens and prescription drugs. Right. Uh, talk to us about some of the numbers and, and why teens think it's okay to use these drugs. Well, it's they didn't have to buy it from a drug dealer, mm -hmm. so they think that it's probably legal and, and, and you know, it's in the medicine cabinet. And, um, you know, I think that just as a society, we tend to give our kids medicine when they have stuffy noses and, and um, you know, aspirin if they don't feel good and that kind of stuff. So I think it's kind of natural for them to want to look and say, oh, I don't feel so good. My leg hurts from football. I'm going to try this. Mm -hmm. And Not so, realizing how it could potentially how dangerous. be. Uh, yeah. dangerous and, and addictive and, and could lead mm -hmm. to so many other problems. Uh, what do we need to look out for? Well, I think that you need to um, watch out for those things like, well, the top ones that we found from the um, Alabama Department of Public Health is that um, Vicodin, Lortab, things that are like pain relievers. Mm -hmm. um, and I can see that with athletes, you know, starting out kind of innocently, but then they, they, their body starts needing it and they, it becomes an addiction. But then I think there's some other kids that are just say, oh, let me just try this out. Or my sure. friend said they would like to try this out. Mm -hmm. But you've got Adderall, some antidepressants. So um, they say that um, prescription drugs are the most commonly used drugs by 12 and 13 year olds. Like this is a real problem and it starts at when they're 12 and 13 years and see, old. And see, when you said teenagers, I was thinking older mm -hmm. teens. I wasn't even thinking this is something you had to worry about if you had a preteen or right. a, a young teenager in the house. So how do you keep them away from that? Or do, you, do you lock these things away? Do I think you, you talk do. to them? Or? I th yeah, I think you lock them away. And this weekend on uh, the 26th, they're going to have uh, the Alabama Prescription Drug Drop-Off Day. Mm -hmm. So, um, and there's, uh, I'm not sure if they've got it on the, webs the website on there, but there's a website that you can Google it and it'll show you all the different uh, pharmacies where you can drop off your right. extra drugs. And um, I think the main thing is just to keep it away. You know, we would keep alcohol away from our children. So this is another thing to just be, be on just the lookout. It can be just as addictive. Yeah, really and, I, and the good news is that based on studies, um, if your parents are talking, if the parents are talking to the kids about the dangers, 50% of them will stay away from them. You know, and so that's a good thing. We want to make sure that they really understand. Just because this was uh, prescribed from your dad, who's twice as big as you, yeah, that I, it's I, safe for him. And that's what you don't realize. Even mm -hmm. even a parent might think, you know, if I give them this because they're hurting, we don't want our child to hurt. Right. So I have this. Let me go ahead and do that. This was prescribed for you, and you could be a few pounds heavier or quite a bit heavier if it's dad, as compared to say, right. say a daughter in the family. It's just and it's much. illegal. And I mean, it's illegal. It's, and that's the thing I think we all forget. Yeah. If it's in our house, we don't think of it as Ill illegal. But if a child was pulled over driving and he was um, using some prescription drugs that right. was someone else's, that's that's another charge that could be brought up against him. So that's a bad thing. Um, but the the thing that's probably most important, I'm not worried about the legal piece, but just what it's doing to our kids. Mm -hmm. And this is an interesting thing. It said 70% of teens that abuse prescription drugs are getting it from their parents and that um, 90% of addictions start in those teen years. Mm -hmm. So if they're having access to it, it could start, it could lead them down some paths that they just don't need to be in. I mean, right. that's going to keep them from reaching their potential, certainly. Um, but um, last year when they did this uh, prescription drug drop off, they had 371 tons of prescription drugs and at 5,000 different sites. And you know, I, ha I was looking around in my medicine cabinet just because I was doing the story and I said, oh my goodness, I've got a lot of stuff that's probably expired. Mm -hmm. And they say, Wait, let's be green. They say, don't put it in our water system. You know, don't put it down the toilet. Don't throw it away. They said, no questions asked, just put it in there. And it's, so it's a much safer way to recycle. Absolutely. And we'll cover that, I'm sure, here on WSFA 12 News, give you more information mm -hmm. on where you can drop those things off. But if you want to know more about how to raise a teen uh, that will reach their uh, potential. That's what your magazine is all about. You've been through this. You are going through going this. Going through it, yeah. And, uh, and you want to help other parents. So what's the best way for them to get Potential Magazine? Um, they, if you want to get our email, which has great information and scholarships each week, 42828, type the word potential. We can send that to you for free. 
the new one's coming out. It's got football on the cover, and it's a really great issue, so yeah. I hope you guys will check it out. This is such a fun time of year, so much to talk yes. about, so many uh, activities that these young people, these teens are getting involved in, and it's time to get on board with things like the ACT, SAT. Let's look forward to spring and summer yes. next year. Yes, and it's so. also, we've also got an article in there about the, um, I know a lot of the eighth graders this week are going through testing at the public schools mm -hmm. on the Plan Explore Act. So we'll talk a little bit about what the public education is doing around our testing. All right, so. and we'll see you next week. Yeah, to talk see more you about then. what's in the uh, new thing. It's so good to see you. Great, Great information you. there. A little scary, but it's something we need to think about and maybe even Be talk proactive. to about. Exactly. exactly. We need to talk to them 50%, cut in half, cut in half. of the possibility just of by those having kids a conversation. getting that just by talking to your kids. Mm -hmm. So thank you for coming to tell us about that. Well,